I forgot to close the door. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dale? Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of the Sleepy Nice Summer PlayStation Project. Good evening. Hello. Uh, I, <laughs> I put on the prep of the rapper OST that's on YouTube, thinking it would be just the songs from the raps but yeah as you as you heard for a minute there at the start it it was also all of the sort of incidental music from the uh the cuts the very short weird cutscenes. so um a little bit of madness going on in there at the start but uh i think it sets a nice tone so <laughs> i'm not i'm not upset at it how you doing bud uh, welcome everyone watching uh, after the fact, checking out the VODs. I've had a nice real response to the ones that I've uploaded to YouTube so far. Uh, and I know a couple of people who are not able to regularly tune in for the streams. So appreciate you being a part of this project, regardless of when that happens to be. Uh, but just a reminder, if you are watching this on YouTube, you can uh, check me out on Twitch and be here to uh to witness witness the fitness live um tonight we have a a triple m of a banger we've got three m games which was completely unintentional this was all down to the wheel uh we are gonna be playing the mummy again for some reason i seem to have an obligatory license title as part of every episode uh, after that, I'm going to be checking out Medieval, which I haven't played in a really long time, um, so I'm, I'm kind of keen. I don't remember much about it at all, but I, I played it back in the day. Uh, and then we're going to be finishing off with Mega Man X6, which is a game I've never touched before. I've only ever played the first Mega Man X game. I do know that they're um, they're kind of a they're kind of a strange thing <laughs> because it's kind of a long running series that. Uh, as far as I can tell, sort of expects that you've played them all up up to that point in terms of like the difficulty and, and kind of the, the way the levels are put together. From what I can tell, X6 is maybe a little bit unfriendly to beginners, uh, to the franchise, so um, I don't know what the first half an hour of that game is going to look like, but we're going to find out together. What does the viewer request pile look like? It is mostly empty. Let me have a look. I think I have one in episode six that was uh, requested by Yonsa, which is Bio Freaks. And then Vagrant Story, I believe, was one that someone asked for. Let me have a look, see if I can work out who that might have been. Was that Chifley, maybe? Oh, no, it was Triangle. Fermented Triangle picked another one, so that's Vagrant Story. So that'll be um, a few episodes from now. Episode... Eight, which I haven't rolled for yet. I've got episode six and seven rolled. Um, maybe I'll roll the rest of episode eight at the end of this episode and do that live for once, which I've never done before. So you can see what it looks like when that wheel selects a game. <laughs> it's very, it's a, it's, there's a, a canned audience applause, much like this one, every time, every time something comes up. So. That, that might be fun. Remind me, if you're still here, Dale, to do that at the end of the episode, and I, I'll do it live. Um, but yeah, we got uh, The Mummy, Medieval, M Mega Man tonight, and then next episode, which I'll maybe try and do tomorrow if I can, uh, is Biofreaks, Tomb Raider Chronicles, and The Legend of Dragoon. And then I'll leave episode 7 a secret until I get there. Um... But yeah, The Mummy we're going to play first. Let's get it booted up. No time like the present. Where is it? There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then we are not playing Beast Wars Transformers. We are playing The Mummy. Although, we do have a connection to Beast Wars Transformers tonight. Uh, it is the same developer as Medieval, which I didn't realize. So that's fun. Kind of the, the, the sort of observations that I'm hoping to pick up on as, um, as this project continues. 
a Konami Universal joint. Uh, the Mummy is also is developed by Rebellion Developments, which uh, is a UK company that now seems like the, the biggest thing that they do is the Sniper Elite series. They've also worked on Zombie Army uh, and a couple of Battlezone games about 10 years ago. And then a lot of other kind of random stuff in throughout all of that. Um, the Simpsons game from 2007. So they've worked on a few licensed titles. This was an early one for them. And I, I believe uh, from what I can glean, this is a uh, this is a third person action game that mostly takes place in uh, ancient ancient times, ancient Egypt. Let's pull a 30 minute timer up. Uh, as a reminder for anyone who's missed any of the previous episodes, who's coming in at episode 5, uh, the rules are in the chat. I'm going to be playing each of these three games for 30 minutes only, uh, unless, um, like in the case of, uh, oh, we don't know want... this. This creature is a bringer of death. He will never eat, he will never sleep, and he will never stop. Okay. Um, we don't want an attract mode. How do I... How can I get out of this? There we go. Um, so yeah, in the case of Metal Gear Solid, I did allow myself an extra half an hour because I was having such a good time and I, I didn't think that a half an hour was enough to really properly assess the game. An hour wasn't really either, but uh, special circumstances permitting, I will allow one game per stream to go out, blow out an extra half an hour. Um, but other than that, it is half an hour only. With that said, I'm going to start the timer now. And we're going to get into the mummy. Start a new game. Universal. My dad used to work for Universal. Well, he, he still technically does. He's about to, uh, he's about to be made redundant. In a, in, a, in a way that he is very happy with that will lead him nicely into retirement. Shoutouts to Big Stevie T. Stevie Nice. I did, I did watch The Mummy a few times Thieves. over the last, like, DC. couple decades. Pretty fun movie. Haven't seen any of the sequels, though. We're in Thieves. Oh yeah, this is Pharaoh good stuff. Mistress betrays him with his trusted priest, Imhotep. I mean, this is just the movie, right? Dale. Redeeming another game. What, what am I adding to the list? Colony Wars. You got it, bud. That'll go in episode 8. The Homdai. The worst of all the Egyptian curses. The Homdai. That's, what, that's when you hum till you die. It's Anubis. Oh yeah, that looks pretty bad. I probably wouldn't want that to happen to me either. Alright, that's all. Oh, wait. The mummy. There it is. <laughs> okay, walk, uh, action, and jump are our primary actions. I don't know too much about... Oh, here we go. What was that? It came from over there. Wait a minute. Let's go prepare. That is not Brendan Fraser's Just voice. Back here. What's up, James? How you doing? Welcome on in. Yeah, it's a great niche. Okay, so we've got we've got tank controls. This is like Tomb Raider style. Very similar. Actually, this is just going to be a Tomb Raider game, huh? And then I can shoot with X. Can I move with the... I can use the, uh, the joystick, which is nice. Most of these games don't allow joystick movement, so... I'll take it when I can get it. Alright, let's see these options. Stereo on, vibration... I'm turning that off. Screen adjust, we don't need to do that. Let's just go with default. Controller setup, don't need that. Training text on. That'll do. Oh, Infernal Machine? I actually haven't played that game. That's a, that's a blind spot for me. I don't know how I triggered this. <laughs> I didn't see where I, I was supposed Evie to go. Need some help. Oh, okay. Evie needs some help. Where is she? Oh, 
I love this draw distance. That's exactly the amount that I want to be able to see the level. There she is. There's Evie. What have you found? There's something written here, but it's too dark to read. Hold on. Hold on. How's the audio balance? Do we need to boost the game at all? I might just do it. Ooh, this is one of the legendary panels of Raw. I feel like that might Making be a little bit better. Life. <laughs> These models are Stay excellent. Here. I'll go check it out. Yeah, that's it. Fire is going to be very important in this game. You may have killed us all. You have unleashed a creature that we have feared for more than 3,000 years. Oh dear. What do you mouse is fine? I'll put it back down again then. To relay your torch, put it in any warframe. The, the fire is important. Great. That's kind of cool, needing like a... There's like a bit of resource management. Arm yourself with R1. I want an X to scroll left. Oh, okay. Hey, get out of here. The sound design is quite nice, and the music is interesting. The music's maybe just music from the movie. Okay. Pick up the treasure items to gain magic throwing amulets. Okay. Oh, so there, mu there must be like four items per level and you get like a power-up. See, so an extra light is light up the hierog hieroglyphs with your lit torch. Okay. Oh, I need all of that. Let me just scoot backwards there. Pits may contain... Prizes or surprises? Okay. Alright, I got my my throwing gauntlets, I think. Is that an item in the uh it is? I don't know what this does. I need to relight my torch though, that's for damn sure. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't because then I'll just uh not be able to use this item. Here it is. Oh, cool. <laughs> Bye. Bye, idiot. That's great. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's the kind of game that I want people to pick. I don't want people to pick uh, stuff they're familiar with. There's no, uh, there's no fun in that, right? We're just looking for, we're looking for new experiences. this open up? No. Oh, I can hit with the torch, too. Can't get up in there. I, I must have to go through this door, right? Okay, so that's nothing. Did I miss a path? Seems like this is the only other thing. And I can't get in there. Alright. The jump is um is pretty long. Nope, there's definitely nothing anywhere else. Okay. <laughs> I can't see any other items. That's that was my other thought. There must be something that I'm that I'm not able to haven't picked up yet. This doesn't look Gettable. Looks forgettable. Oh, here we go. Hidden me mechanisms can unlock secret chambers. Try pressing operate next to objects. Okay. Ah. I see. Excellent. Alright. 
I got part of the Triforce. When you've got the star key, oh, it's the star key. The gold switch is released. Stand by it and press it back in with the X to open the door. Okay, I don't know what those words meant. That was really poorly written. Switch. And another switch. Okay. Making schmooze. Beware, scarab beetles inhabit these ancient tombs. Uh-oh. Can I shoot them? These ancient storage yards may contain treasures or traps. Okay, I can shoot the scarab beetles. <laughs> Treasure. More treasure. One of these is surely going to contain a trap, right? Prizes or surprises. Trap? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's probably a quick turnaround, right? Let's go check it out. Oh, I've got a first person mode. I can't work out how to turn around quickly. Oh, there we go. L1. Oh, it's a trap. Yeah, the draw distance is ridiculous. And it's not as if, like, games weren't... Uh, weren't pre uh, presenting us with better draw distance at this time either. Like, this is not... It's not like this is what games looked like, <laughs> you know? It's pretty wild. Surprises. Yeah, Tomb Raider did not have this problem. It might be on purpose, I guess, because of the torch mechanic. Um, which I kind of dig. I sort of dig needing, like, a little bit of resource management. To so dodge attacks, press square and r left or right. Okay. <laughs> I'm never gonna I'm never gonna press those buttons guys, sorry. Whoa. Prizes. That looks like something I could press. Oh no, that's a uh This is a torch a torch thingy. Let me light that up. Yeah, it's the evil fog of Lex Luthor. Oh man, I may have missed um, other panels. The completionist in me needs to go back and find them. I probably would have noticed them, right? That's another path we can't go down. Oh, there we are. That's the last two. Excellent. I got another Brendan Fraser. <laughs> so good. <laughs> the one-up icon just being his face is really excellent. Something's not right here. Something's not right here. You're telling me, Buffer. Oh, oh! Okay. Ugh. Ugh. This one contained uh, surprises, and not prizes. Time walls just walk forward onto the vines. Classic. I gotta go there, right? Surely. Okay. Alright, let me just back up a little bit here. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, 
This is not climbable, apparently. Right, maybe I need to uh, walk forward to climb up the vines again. Can I jump from the corner? The music indicates that there's something else going on. Oh, do I just I just pop up here? Okay, I see. Whoa. Any map? No. Of course not. Ah. So we got a little bit of a survival horror thing here too. Although the uh, ammunition doesn't seem scarce. Oh, all right, buddy. Excellent. That sounded like, um, like everything. I think I did it. I think I got it all. So now I can press this in. Beautiful. Oh, I picked up another star piece. Yeah, this is like a Tomb Raider without verticality or finesse. <laughs> but it's not, it's not unplayable. I've also, I've also uh, completely abandoned the torch, which it could be to my detriment. Whoa, hello. Did you just say, who are you guys? Oh, no. my prizes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, all right, let me check the other path. I might need a torch. I might need to go back for, for fire. <laughs> oh, there's fire. I like that the, the fire has a countdown. See, the fire also doesn't really increase the draw distance at all, so... I think my, um, suspicion that that was an intentional choice might... Might be a bit off. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> oh, there's my star piece. Nice. I don't need bullets at all. But I'll take them. Hitting with the torch doesn't seem to lower your uh, timer either. So that's um, that's interesting. I probably, if I was designing this game, I would have made it so that using the torch as a weapon like doubles the, uh, the or halves the time it takes to uh, to empty. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, 10K? Congrats on the second. You're just in time, man. This is this is really this is something. Can I get in there? Hell yeah, dude. Um, okay. I don't... I mean, I probably just jumped down, right? Let me get some torch. The music is really incongruous with the, uh, with the action. Oh yeah, there's the door. Okay, we're good. I do not know why he puts out the torch to press a button. Let's get the, uh... Let's get those guns back out. Ok, 
Okay. Some panels are not just ancient murals. Press action button to see what they do. Okay. Aha. A puzzle. I reckon I gotta make it all gold. What do you guys think? Let's do it. I, I was correct. Get out of here. You're not worthy of being hit with a torch. To jump over gaps, press circle when running forwards. Excellent. Really good. Ex really good game. Oh, whoops. Oh dear. Where am I now? Okay, I'm in the same area. That's good. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know if I was dead or not. Okay, we know what to do here. Yep. Just flip that around. Oh, you're yeah, picking another. Oh my god, you got a lot of points, dude. Expendable. Alrighty. Let me just put that on the list before I forget. We're gonna have an all Dale special episode, probably. Expendable. Another one I've never heard of. Never, never even glanced at it. It's never glanced at me. Okay, I was trying to get the that the surprise down here. The prize and the surprise. <laughs> okay, it's good to know you're out. Hey, alright, got another star piece. We're almost out of here. How much time have I got left? We're we gonna get to see se a second level? Maybe briefly. Yeah, man. Pull the trigger. I imagine 10k has banked up a bunch of points as well, so... I'm assuming I'll see uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 any day now. Down? Or up? Okay. You have to make it... You have to make the door go up. Those look like traps. Be quick escaping from these pits in case you get entombed. Okay. Didn't look like I was in any real danger of being entombed there. Alright. I can't tell if the stuff that's like the, the, the walls that have fallen down, if that's anything I need to be paying attention to. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this is a sacred site. Secrets. I'm getting so many of these projectiles that I am um, not using. Whoa! Oh shoot! Saved all my bullets. All right, that's my that's my Triforce piece. We're out of here. Okay, I gotta find the switch, I guess. Oh, uh. oh! <laughs> oh no! I gotta do that again. <laughs> I think they're all the mummy. Okay, how did you solve this puzzle again? You make it just go up, right? That's what I thought. So it looks like the entombment happens uh, when you leave the pit, regardless of how long you were in there for. I wonder if there's another way to go. Run at max speed, press R2 while you run. Okay. Oh, we got a run button. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, well, now I know I can run. I'm running everywhere. 
I don't think we're gonna get to level two, guys. Yeah, I got. It. I think I can turn off the uh, the tool tips. Maybe I sh shouldn't, just in case I I get stuck. Oh yeah. Okay. Just aim right down the guts. Oh, what? <laughs> That's so wild, man. Why is that so hard? Okay, I'll tell you something now. Here, here's how I feel about this game. I This is not, like, this isn't great. But I get it. I get what they're doing. They're just got, they're doing a Tomb Raider, and of course they are. Like, what else are they gonna do? This, you know, Universal approaches this random developer from the UK and is like, "Hey, make us a game about uh, a, like a treasure hunter going through like, an ancient pyramid that's uh, attached to this like property that where there's like not really much else to it." Like, they did the only thing that they could have. But then they made a game that's, like, not as good as Tomb Raider, because of course they did. But even then, I, I mean, I haven't played those old Tomb Raiders for a while, so... This might not even be that much worse than... I'm about to run out of blaze. And health. Did it. I got my star piece. So there's got it. There's a switch somewhere that I'm missing. Is it here? Is it in this? Yeah. Yes. Get in there. But the other thing about this is, if I was a child in 1999 and I received. Perfect zone gems, two out of six. Lives left one. I only had one life left. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could have been bad. Um, if I was a child in 1999 and I received this game kind of as like a, um, like a well-intentioned but terrible gift, I'd play the whole thing. I'd play all of this game and I'd have fun memories of it. It's, it's like one of those sort of games. It's like not entirely unappealing, especially to like a young person who might be somewhat interested in ancient Egypt. I did see that there was a remaster of the first three Tomb Raiders coming. Maybe I'll check it out. I mean, I'm going to be playing one of the old two. I'm going to be playing Tomb Raider Chronicles next episode. Hey, what's that? This? This is for you. This is for you. <laughs> I had to, you know, face certain death to get that for you. Hmm. Yeah, I buddy. wonder... That. Evie, I think Jonathan, look what we found. Rick, if you can find the two missing pieces of this pyramid, that's how McGuffin. This door. And that would be good because it leads to the hidden chambers of Hamanatra. Does it say anything about treasure? Apparently, collecting the treasures of Hamanatra bestows powerful, powerful magic. Okay, so that's the loop of the game, right? I guess it's. You go into each of the levels, you, you pull out a relic, it unlocks the next level. You always did have more guts than brains, O'Connell. Oh. I, are you a friend of mine? Okay, this level actually kind of looks different. I was expecting every level to be basically the same skin. I'm going to do something with this. Oh no, this, this lets me get up. Oh, secrets. Prizes and surprises. Do I do I retain my bullets? Doesn't look like it. Oh yeah. Oh maybe I do. Maybe I just use them all on those uh on those mummies. Um I have years and years ago, but I don't remember anything about it, so 
It's not like. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to use one of these. I have a quite a quite a few of them. I suppose I can just use them. I've only got a couple minutes left. Let's just kill everyone. Oh, never mind. I dash. <laughs> okay. With two Brendan Frasers left to go and a, about a minute and three seconds, I think we can um, pretty safely stop the mummy for PS1 right there. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave that on pause so the music and the, the ambiance can continue as I pull up my trusty spreadsheet and we can rank this, this beautiful game. The movie had a few more locales, that much I can say. Oh yeah, no, he goes back in time, right? Or maybe not. There's something, some stuff happens. It was a Universal movie, so I, so I saw it by extension of my father working for Universal. Like, we just saw every Universal movie, basically. He brought home screeners and VHSs and DVDs kind of my whole life. Okay, let's think about this. That wasn't bad. It's like, it's pretty janky, it's pretty flawed. Better than Batman, definitely. I think we can safely, we can definitely safely place it at least better than, oh, there's the timer. Perfect. Okay. Oh, the game automatically pauses when you're not playing it for a while. That's interesting. Okay. Um, I think it might have been a little bit... It's like on par with Disney's Tarzan. I think whether it goes above or below is much of a muchness. And I haven't... I haven't got any great desire to see what else is in Disney's Tarzan, but I'm sort of, like, I'm never going to play this game again, but I'm sort of interested to see what the rest of the levels of it look like. It looks like maybe there was a little bit of, um, of thought put into the way you manage your resources and, and finding treasures and secrets and things like that. It's definitely not any Chaos Break's top five run. Chaos Break is going to remain in the top five for now. I'm going to pop it right above Disney's Tarzan. The Mummy. 29th of the 12th. No, we will not be playing it again. And then once again, let me just change the font to Merryweather, which I, I don't know why it's not doing that automatically. But that's game one. That's where we're at. Let's close that up. And uh, prep for the next game. In fact, I'm actually, I'm going to go to the bathroom briefly. Ooh. My light just uh, exploded. Okay, my, uh, my ring light is not working anymore. <laughs> Good timing. I have no idea why it's... Uh... Hmm. Alright, I'm not going to keep pressing that. That seems dangerous. I'm going to sit in, in darkness for a minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then maybe I'll work out what's going on with my, uh, with my ring light. BRB.
Okay. I'm back. I'm, I'm still... I'm sans ring light. I'm a little bit afraid to, like, keep trying to make it work. Because it's, um... It's just, like, flashing when I turn it on. So, I'm going to be a little bit... A little bit in the dark. For now. Um... And maybe I'll try and fix that between streams. You know what? Give me one moment. I'm going to just check and make sure it's still like plugged in properly. Oh dear, my camera's gone off now. <laughs> Holy crap. This is, um, this is cursed. Hold on, let me just, uh... Um, hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is going on? Maybe, um, maybe my, like, USB power is, like, screwed up or something. Let me, um, uh, hold up. One sec. Okay, still not... Yeah, I think the mummy has cursed me. This is very interesting. Hmm. I've do, I've, I do not know what's what's happened here. Um, but I think we're going to be without... We're going to be without camera or without light. <laughs> so I might have to just do like a... Um, just a no cam... Or maybe I, I guess I could do... Uh, I could do VTuber mode. No, there's no there's no webcam app open. Um, it just I was I was toying around with the uh, with the, the little USB bank, and I must have knocked the webcam slightly. I could see the light the light went back on. So uh, let me see if the computer is detecting the camera. Oh, okay, no, it's. It's working on, if I open up the camera app on my computer, it works. Let me see if I can, like, reset. Let's go virtual camera, and then back to stream camera. There we go, I'm back. <laughs> Alright. One, one problem solved. I'm gonna be a little bit in the dark tonight. That's okay. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, we were gonna play Medieval. Second game on the on the chopping block tonight. Another third person action game. Let's get it going. Medieval. So as mentioned uh, before, this game has a a connection to last episode, the same developer as Beast Wars Transformers, which is very strange because that is a, a maligned game and a bad game, a, a, a fairly maligned game. Uh, but yes, yeah, SE Entertainment Europe, uh, it's it's some of the same people, I believe, were, were even in the in the team. So the game capture is ever so slightly out of bounds on the bottom so it is why is it in like time that? long ago there lived in the kingdom of galomir a sorcerer named zarok this arrogant pitiless man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways so he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own the King's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia into battle against this unholy horde. Okay, Some I fixed it. Of how he the charge deep into I'm missing the law. 
how demons fell before him like wheat before the sun. Okay, Fortesque went down in history, the Calumnia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then the sorcerer returned. Um, let's get the timer going. We're moving right into game number two. Time to start. Alright, new game. So this game received a, a, a remaster quite recently that I saw a few people talking about pretty kindly. Is Eric bad, so Daniel Fortescue good? Oh, so it was pronounced Fortescue and not Fortesque? Excellent. Okay, so I'm guessing the skeleton man is this, uh, this hero from the past. Hmm. Yeah, I've, I've definitely played this game, but not in a very long time, and I I don't have much of a memory of what, of what it's like or what you do in it. I, I kind of remember toying around with it a little bit. Yeah, we all had the demo disc. I think it was on a lot of, like, um, the magazine demo discs as a first-party game. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue, see? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shroud Weird of indie baby arcade game. conspire to turn the I'm going to need to know what that is. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I've played that. Of the day. But we knows better. Okay. <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a Litter boy. chance. A look chance that up. to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Sarah. Oh, yeah, no, I fully... Live up to the legend. I've seen that. We hope it does well. Oh, yeah. Shoot, this one um, just, like, fell out of my memory. But I definitely, uh, I definitely played it. Found small sword. I can swing it. Alright. Can I read this? No. Okay, can we have, do we have any camera control? We do! Okay. The camera's doing that cool jittery thing that some of the uh, some of the emulated games do. Which is nice. Life bottle and a star rune is required. Found throwing daggers. Okay. So, how do I change between weapons? Ah, okay. Let's stick with the sword for now. Presumably, this is the rune. Is there really no run? Even the mummy had a run button. Found a copper shield. And some delicious gold coins. Yeah, I like this vibe so far. This is, um... It's giving... Uh... It's giving Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, I would have thought so. Maybe there'll be a tutorial that'll teach me. Maybe I have to like double press or something. Dance Crypt. The Graveyard. You'll ever just go to the graveyard. Okay, yeah, it's double. It's double press. <laughs> Triangle is assigned to Daring Dash. Which is that, I think. It's like a block. But if I but if I double tap in the direction I want to go, I do a run. <laughs> That's pretty fun to do. 
I must say. So it looks like I've got to kill. Oh yeah, I've got to kill everybody in the level before I can proceed. <laughs> That's the way, I suppose. Found the Earth Room. Is that camera jittering bothering anyone else, or just me? <sighs> Health point? Yo, what's up, Jake GC? How you doing, bud? Welcome on in. Just in time for some, some medieval action. Yeah, that's where the earth... Okay, I need the chaos room for that door. Yeah, the frame rate's pretty bad, but I don't, I, I don't really know how I can adjust that. Maybe I can, uh... Yeah, I don't think that's... I think that's just the game. <laughs> Maybe I just won't run. I think running makes it worse. Yeah, massive Tim Burton vibes. Very correct. Yeah, I played a little bit of it. I think I'm, I'm talking with the other guys. I must have played the demo because that seems to be how everybody else experienced it for the first time. Um, but I don't remember much of it. I don't even really remember like this level, for instance. Didn't make much of an impression on me. It's pretty fun just wandering around like hacking. I'm sure some of the combat gets a bit more complex, but right now it's um. It's fairly straightforward. Alright, I gotta get through that gate. I need that chalice. This is a chalice dungeon, right? Copper shield 150. I haven't even taken any shield damage. Okay, can I go this way? No. I, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll run if I want to get anywhere quickly. But if I'm just wandering around, I'm just gonna walk because it it does. It is kind of sickening to watch. So I think triangle is like is block. Which I haven't I haven't needed to use yet. Yeah, this is Kingsfield. 12. I've been playing a lot of Kingsfield 2 off stream, actually. Pretty darn good game. Oh wait, that's where I came from. Is there another path? Did I miss a path? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh dear. The chalice can now be collected. So yeah, I do. I guess you uh, you kill every enemy in the level. That's how you win. Does this guy talk? Not every, not every enemy. Just a certain number of enemies. Run of blood's cool, dude. All right. Supplies. Oh, okay. So I can purchase things here. Yeah, go on. Go on then. What else am I going to use it on? I ain't taking it with me. This is, this is not back towards where the chalice is, so... I mean, maybe the chalice has nothing to do with, with finishing the level. Maybe it's just a, an optional thing? To encourage you to kill a bunch of enemies instead of just running through the level, which it seems like you can also just do. Chalice can now be collected. Let me in there. Maybe it's just giving me permission. Maybe it's a permission thing rather than a, a an ability thing. Do not have anti-aliasing on. Uh, 
I don't think so. Let me let me double check. I'm pretty sure I turned that off. Hold on. Display settings. Uh, oh, maybe this maybe it's upscaling in a weird way. Let's see if that that doesn't really fix it. Just makes it corporeal. Got it. Okay. Enhancement settings. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any setting that I can quickly fix. I should. I should go through and actually get. You know what? That's what I'm going to do tonight. After the stream, I'm going to go through the settings and and uh, and properly get a good look going because I think it's like. I think the upscaling that it, the the emulator is just naturally doing is is um, messing with some stuff. Um, yeah, I'll look at it again later. But yeah, I'm I'm almost certain I haven't turned on anything that would make it warp on purpose. Found another copper shield. Don't need it. You can take that one back, buddy. Don't forget to pick up the chalice. I tried to. Let me get it. I'm a little bit irritated at the camera's um, lack of freedom. Oh, you can tell me? Let me see if I can work it out first. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Checks out. <laughs> so wait, can I just like... Can I break down these fences? Hold on. Maybe I can... No, that's not it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised that reviewers did not like this camera. In the, uh, in the, in, like, the opening level, it seemed like you needed, or even earlier on in this level, it seemed like you need, like, a switch to open up certain gates. Oh, wait, hold on. I haven't, I haven't been reading these books because I didn't think I could. Did I miss a book over here? No. Oh, here we go. Of course, of course it was a switch. <laughs> yeah, the jittering is crazy. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna look at it because a couple of games has been a, a bit of an, an issue with that. It hasn't come up with every game is the thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll take a proper look at it after the stream. I, I apologize if it's unbearable. So wait, if I hit it the other way... This one will open as well, right? Yeah, that's it. Excelente. Yeah, it, it may very well be the game. Hall of Heroes awaits. Let's do it. Is this a shop again? Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum. Hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Okay. Thanks for the warning. And yeah, you're right, Jake. I mean, that is interesting. But the, the problem with emulation, and there, there are a lot of good things about emulation. I love it, personally. I play so many emulated games. But truly, sometimes things happen, and you just don't know if it's like, is that the game working as intended, or am I... 
experiencing something that um, you know some issue with the ROM Welcome or some like hall of heroes. disconnect between the, the emulator and the ROM. From history. Okay, we can skip that. Um, yeah, is there some like weird hardware issue or or some setting that hasn't been switched on properly? Um, and so that is the advantage of original hardware, which I would love to be able to. I mean, I would love. I've got a. I've got a PS One sitting right behind me, and a small collection of games that um, I'd love to be able to, to stream. But uh, that ain't happening. Stand in front of the designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Okay. Ah, uh, so the chalice is giving me access to uh, to heroes. Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? Penny Tim. How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and it can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. Ooh. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardok. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Absolutely. I love, um, I love Dolphin for that, like, just up upscaling... GameCube games to their maximum is like it's some of the most beautiful gaming that I've ever done <laughs> like I think I truly think upscaling Wind Waker for the GameCube looks better than the Wii U remaster did I think it's like yeah it's, there's, there's some wild stuff you can do not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye sir <laughs> yeah Dolphin's a good time oh. Okay, I found the crossbow. I found it. It was not gifted to me. Yeah, the the uh Oh. Okay, that is very fun. <laughs> Can I get the other No, I need to get the other chalices, of course. Um There was some things about that Wii U remaster I liked. They did fix some quality of life stuff and having the um the touch screen for your menu, it's it's that's a nice addition to any Zelda game basically like any any of the 3d zelda games it's the best thing about the 3ds remasters of ocarina of time and majora's mask which are not good remasters i did not like them oh i can't get up the stairs that's why i keep falling through so can i go through this door hold on let's read the book only when you are truly worthy as a hero you'll be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall okay okay so i need to get all of the other chalices i suppose So where do I go? How do I proceed? It's not by doing that. Uh, but yeah, having a, having a touchscreen for all of that menu work, just switching between items is, um, is excellent. It's, yeah, good in all of them. Welcome to the... Okay. Alright. I just don't know what to do now. It's not it's not telling me where to go. It looks as, as if I'm supposed to interact with this chalice. Do I jump into it? No. So then it must be this door. Jesus Christ. Tell me. Tell me where to go. Give me so much information that I don't need and none that I do. I tried to leave. There was nowhere to go. Unless it's just a camera issue. Can I turn the camera around before I go down that hole? I can't. Do I just stand back on this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. You are done. It is time to leave. They're very quickly losing patience the moment I'm playing a game he's familiar with. Yeah, let's save progress. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, graveyard done. Let's go to this cemetery hill. I like the map. I like the look of the map. The clock means nothing to me. I'm, I'm kidding. It it means everything. 
What happens if I run out of uh, bullets? So, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy... Great enemy me. design. You're too late, Fortescue. Okay, I, I get it. You're evil. And beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. What do you got to say here? Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain other weapons. Try experimenting. <laughs> oh, so is that little... Is the little green thing... Is that indicating my aim at any given moment? Yeah, because it goes away when I'm... Not uh, on crossbow. This camera is is really wild. Okay. What does this got to say? Of great archaeological interest, destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Okay, I'm gonna need like some kind of club or something, right? Probably gonna have to come back to this level with that to be able to get whatever's in there. Unless I get a club in this level. There are lots of uh, destroyable boulders. Whoa! Hell yeah. And used energy vial. Can I purchase more supplies? I can. Give me those bolts, baby. Give me the bolts. I'm doing an all shoot run of medieval. Something tells me I'm not supposed to go up here yet, but I don't know, I think I'm okay. Oh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Can I jump over the boulders? Not really. Oh shoot. This is like uh this is like that part of Mario 64. <laughs> but bad. <laughs> okay. I think I need to be able to break these boulders before I could proceed. The sequence breaking here. I can shield? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. Okay. Forget about it. I'm chilling. So if you pick up a shield uh, before it's broken, you don't get it. That's what I've learned. We have failed the master. We give our lives. For the remaster, composers got to come back and do a whole orchestral arrangement of the score. That's fun. That's nice. Good for them. It's it's nice music. Uh, okay, so now those rocks are not there anymore, which is good. Uh, which gives me a little bit of a chance to wander back up and through this area. Oh, the shield. Okay, so it just recharges your shield, basically. So can I go down here? I can. Oh, what are you? Found club. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> okay, this this game's fun, man. This is a really fun time. I'm sorry to say Chaos Break may not be in the number five spot at the end of this. Okay, what are you? Are you a 
first shot. <laughs> okay, no, you're just a guy. The club's just fun to use as well. Every weapon feels like pretty nice. Chaos Break Killer. Hell yeah. What does it say? A guide to covens. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing inventory, yet they are reclusive people and have been summoned by the aid of mystic charms and talismans. Ah, uh, seeking to summon a witch. Remember that they are quite territorial. Okay. Is that breaking? No, nothing is happening. Oh, wait. This is on fire now. I don't want it to be. Oh, okay. So the, the club takes damage. So similar to the shield. So wait, can I... Is there a thing that I need to do to summon the witches in here or something? I have played Evergrace. I played it. Oops. Oh, there we go. I, I played it uh, precisely for the soundtrack. Um, it's a tough game, man. It's a tough baby to shake. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty weird, but it's cool. It's got some stuff to it, that's for sure. Okay, so I think I need to get the flame from this room on my club. Okay. How did it go on fire before? Okay, there we go. And then quickly head back. Quickly head back. There we go. Okay. Oh. No, no. No, no, I don't want to quit. Resume. I wanted to change weapons. I guess you can't do that in battle. Yeah, the sequel is incredible music-wise. I don't know if you ever saw this, Jake. I had a, a brief interaction with um, with 10 Tricks Point Never on Twitter uh, back when his album, whichever one it was from a few years ago. I'm gonna pause. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about it after this. But yeah, his his album really reminded me of the Evergrave soundtrack, and I, I I tagged him. Yeah, I thought you might have remembered that. I mean, that was that was that's possibly my most. Uh, treasured twitter interaction just just purely from like being able to have have picked an inspiration like that and to to be able to have the the composer confirm it for me age of it was age of you're right i was gonna say age of but i wasn't sure that's a cool ass album too okay we got the chalice we're out of here and the, the timer is if i looked at it correctly the timer is about to beep in my ear so let's just finish up this level and then find out what the next weapon would have been, what the next boon is, and then we'll start raiding medieval. Twitter's a good it's a good time sometimes. It's it's pretty bad most of the time, but I mean it can it can lead to Monotrix Point never saying, hey, what's up, man? To me. <laughs> to me specifically. Machine Drum also listened to the Possible People EP, thanks to Twitter, because he was taking uh, recommendations for chill drum and bass stuff, so I flicked it his way, and he was very kind about it. So. Back from the battle, so so. Okay, shut up. What do we get for, uh, for that level? Not that one over there. This one? No. Okay, where does the chalice go? Back to this guy? Oh, same guy. Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the, the new album is very good. Your strider, I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. 
Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Okay, great. Found a life bottle. That's very boring. Okay. That'll be it for Medieval. The, the timer is about to end. Got three seconds, two seconds, one second, and... Wow. Well... Let's get some music going. And close that up. And, uh... We can pop Medieval in the... Spreadsheet. is here okay that might be that might be one of the better games that I've played as part of this so far I um, I had a good time with that that felt really nice to run around in the camera was um, abhorrent but I think it might have been like slightly easier to play than many other games from from that time just from the, the half an hour that I that I touched of it pretty pretty fun pretty cool um, definitely better than Chaos Break. It's going to be bumping that out of the top five, unfortunately. Was it a better time than Incredible Crisis? Incredible Crisis was really... Was really fun. And very funny. Um, God, in fact, maybe Incredible Crisis should go above WWF. No, I had a great... I had such a good time with WWF. I'm, I'm leaving that at number three. I don't think I had quite as good a time with this. I'm gonna put it below Incredible Crisis. We got a new, we got a new number five, and it's medieval. Edit man, though, exactly. <laughs> I might play a little bit more of that. I might fool around a little bit more in that game. Cool. Nice one. Really interested to see how I feel about this next game too. Mega Man X6, or Mega Man 16, to those of you with a proclivity for numerals of the Roman variety. Where is it? There it is. Let's go straight to it. I've already had my bathroom break for the evening. Mega Man X6. So yeah, as I mentioned before, the Mega Man series, pretty deep amounts of lore that I'm not across. Um, the X series especially had like a pretty, um, pretty interwoven story. Yeah, I mean, it's Mega Man X Episode 6. Not even just Mega Man X6. It's considered like part of the same game really let's watch the let's get let's be caught up space colony eurasia was taken over by sigma sigma hired a mysterious reploid dynamo this song rips by the way dynamo led the eurasia into orbit towards earth thus beginning the tragic earth crisis maverick hunter zero taking the earth's destiny into his hands one reploid made a crash attack against a furious space colony this is very anime <laughs> Do I know there's an MMX turn-based RPG? Is it separate from the Battle Network games? As for the battle against Sigma, who seems like the big bad. X and Zero defeated Sigma and narrowly escaped with their lives. However, only one would return from the battle. A blue light X. Still gripping a familiar saber in his hand. Command mission. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, Mega Man's a bit of a... It's like another blind spot for me. I don't love Mega Man. I don't love, like, the original Mega Man series. I think... Awesome. So sick. That's enough of that, though. Um, yeah, the Mega Man series is uh, is not a not a fave of mine. I think they're pretty um, they're pretty unpleasant to play for the most part. I think there's like a lot of cool stuff in there. There's like I, I do I do not blame people for loving them, um, especially like the aesthetic of it all. It's very appealing. 
Let's hit attract mode. We don't need that. We're going to be attract moding ourselves. Okay. Let's check these options out. Uh, but I, that said, I do love the, the Battle Network games. I had a really good time with a few of those. I'm going to start the timer now. Game level... Let's go easy. Game speed, normal. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah, Mega, oh, and Mega Man Legends and the um, the Misadventures of Tron Bon, but those are really different things. They're not they don't they're not anything like the two D Mega Man games. I don't like the two D Mega Man games because of the way they feel. So if they, if it's a different feeling thing, I'm all for it. Yeah, Misadventures of Tron Bon is excellent. That is a fantastic game. I'm I'm hoping that that pop, pops up on the wheel because I love especially love the opening of that game. That'd be one that I'll extend out to an hour for sure. Okay, let's play Mega Man X Six. Um, having not played any of the others except Mega Man X many years ago. And we will be receiving all of the lore. And for this we should be thankful. I'm just going to read it. This is not all. Something else is going to happen. I feel uneasy. What is this? Hmm? This is... Debris, but what from? Was there any violent battle here? I wonder how many people and reploids were sacrificed. So the reploids must be the like they're the the men, the mega men. Um wait, this is one week later. Wahahaha, <laughs> <laughs> it's finally done. I'm going mad and it is so liberating. Okay, we got a new bad guy. Here. The plan has only just begun. I'm going to bring all low-grade reploids into submission. Oh, dear. A mega man. Exactly. Those two symbols understand my work. I'll build an ideal world only for reploids. Okay. Is a class commentary here? A wonderful world where I control everything. X. X. Wake up, X. Now you're the only one. There is no one else left to fight. Get up now, X. So Zero is dead. The giant Maverick is acting up. Wake up. I'll send the detailed info later. You rush to the scene. Alright. We're in. The vibes are, the vibes are popping off. Honestly. I don't know anything that's going on, but I'm in. Oh, what? Why do I look so sick? Most of the mechan droids, since, uh, Mavericks, it's been a long time. Stay alert, X. I'll be fine since I have the armor and saber. Since I fixed the Falcon armor very quickly, the dash function is incomplete. Alright. Anyway, I will stop the mech mechanoloids. Go to the entrance of the ruins ahead. There's my gun, there's my... Oh, okay, so I've got Zero's saber, I guess, because I... Because I was in a fight with him. I can't shoot down. Slice down. the dash wasn't working. The dash does seem to be working. Maybe that's because I'm on easy mode? Slash boxes. This music's pretty hard. I feel like the sound is quite a bit louder in this game, so I'm just gonna bring it down a touch. How is the volume balance, by the way? Yeah, that's like, I, I got the impression. Let's, let's get it back down here. Turn it down on my, on my headphones as well. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well it feels like it feels like a Mega Man game, honestly. With some with some other stuff going on. I don't like that you basically have to stop to 
use the save. Uh, it's, it's kind of a bummer. I don't mind that you have unlimited wall jumps and dashes. So it seems to be communicates, communicating to me that my blaster is basically worthless. Do you reckon I can go down there? Let's try. Probably not. That die effort. I can't it looks like you can jump on top of it, but you cannot. Okay, also my dash does damage. Maybe I should have been using those against those rolling enemies. Taking a lot of hits. Oh, who are you? There you are. Are you all right? Hunters. Beyond here is a giant mechanoloid. It's suddenly activated due to a radio wave problem. We are afraid and we got hurt. We'll take care of it. Let's return to the hunter base now. All right. It acts like it's possessed. Be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Boss fight. Pretty stylish little uh, warning symbol there, warning logo. Cool. Okay, sick. Once again, my blaster not really doing anything. That attack is supposed to be hitting me. It's not the. Am I just am I just clutch with these dodges? I am. I'm just clutching it out. On easy mode. <laughs> Triangle. Of course. That's why that font is so good. Hey, all right, let's try. Love the look of the game. Really cool. Are all the Mega Man X games on PS1 like this nice looking? If so, I might need to, uh, oh, it's Zero. It's the Ghost of Zero. Delivering a kill shot. Z Zero? Uh oh. I knew that was too easy. <laughs> Do I have to fight the ghost of Zero? No. Ooh. <gasps> Who's this? I knew Zero was doing this. Who are you? Hi, Max. I am called. I'm investigating the Zero Nightmare. <laughs> what? Did you say the Zero Nightmare? What are you trying to do? What is your connection to the Zero Nightmare? What about Zero? You are behind this. You are dangerous. I'll dispose of you. Oh, did he just kill me? Maverick Hunter, not amazing. Oh man, okay. It's one of those fights you're supposed to lose, but I barely got hit and I still, I still lost technically. We will destroy the Zero Nightmare. You are not wanted here to keep out. Summer was playing the Battle Network games a while ago, there's like 50 of them, they all go forever. Yeah. So I've only played the first two, I think, and then I started the third one, and I was like, oh, it's it's the same thing. Um, but yeah, I liked them. They're cool. They're a really cool idea. Hymax, the Zero Nightmare. Hmm. Did I dream about Zero? What is happening? This game is making a hell of a first impression on me, I gotta tell you. 16 Mavericks defeated, damage received 33, soul obtained 0, hunter rank D. Okay, yeah, let's save. 
Love the look of these menus, love the sounds, love the music, love the designs. Continue the game, absolutely. We've got 20 minutes left. Ooh. Attention all reploids on Earth. As you all know, these are chaotic, disturbing times. The nightmare is upon us. It shows reploids a kind of dream for human beings. No, it's a nightmare. The nightmare makes reploids confused. Okay, so zero is like in the in the reploid consciousness, the zeitgeist. In the worst case, they may malfunction or delete themselves. Yikes. Due to the space colony incident, there are few reploids or humans... There are few reploids or humans are left on the Earth. We won't accept sacrifice anymore. This would bring us to the Earth Crisis. Taking the matter seriously, we have sent investigators to the eight suspected areas to uncover the mystery of this nightmare phenomena. So this is the, the eight levels that I'm going to have to play. It said that the nightmare phenomena are caused by a ghost of zero, known as an ace maverick hunter. Nandate? What are you talking about? Mate X, let him finish his story. Now I'd like to call on volunteers. Unite with us and help our cause. I love this guy's design as well. He's stuck. Our goal is to wipe out the nightmare. And to delete the Zero's ghost. Come together for our future. This Hymax will lead the mission. We might then. That's our friend. We guarantee your safety if you join us. Both Maverick Hunters and Reploids now suffer. Let's preserve our future together. We're waiting for you, everyone. How dare. He talks about Zero that way. Zero gave his life to save us. It can't be helped now. Actually, we saw the Nightmare 2 shaped as Zero. So we also need to investigate what the Nightmare is. Damn straight we do. Now leave Isok and Hymax alone. I wonder what are these suspected areas he mentioned. Can you find out? Yes, we can. Let's, let's just... I gotta go in there blind. Alright, I just wanna skip through. I wanna play some more levels. Yes. Alright. Phew. Lots of exposition. But which makes sense, I suppose. We're now beginning our mission to check the eight areas that Esau can send investigators. Blah, 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 blah. As we've lost Zero, you're our only hope. Can you do it, X? I'll do it. I've just obtained a report on the nightmare areas and the investigators sent to the areas. How the details of the situations in the areas are still unknown. Blah, 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 blah. Just be careful. Some reploids may accept what Esau said is true. Blah, 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 blah. Man, what's the story? Douglas? The hey, no next is a gamer, it's true. Okay, who we got? Magma area, Amazon area, Nami Temple, Laser Institute, North Pole area, Central Museum, Recycle Lab, Weapon Center. Uh, this Amazon area robot looks pretty sexy, so I'm gonna go check that out. Player select Falcon or X. Well, I gotta check out Falcon. Who's Falcon? I didn't meet Falcon. Hell yeah, dude. Commander Yamak. Excellent. Looking like a damn Super Sentai. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, okay. Falcon is the Falcon suit, I guess. Kill it when it's in a when it's a ball. This music, oh my lord! Hello. That's it. Okay. Maybe the Falcon suit is like an easy mode thing. Very tasty thing, 
is so right. Thanks. Oh, hey, it's Dr. Light. I wonder when peace will return. Dr. Light's got to be dead by now in this cannon, right? The armor won't work until the four programs combine. Collect four programs to complete the armor. Now I will install a foot program. I'll install a foot program of the blade armor. This program will enhance your dash performance and enable you to perform the Mac dash. You can dash while jumping, and you'll be invincible in the beginning. Okay, let's install the foot program real quick. And it's not really that much better, unless the falcon armor is like what he's talking about. I've just um, equipped it. Whoa. I, are there any other moves? Is it... Oh, I can stand on these guys. They recover my health a little bit, the people I'm, I'm saving. Oh, I can Okay, I can uh, increase the power of my bullets. Jesus, come on. I want to get the guy. Welcome. These are uh, these bladed uh, bladed bullets are really uh, doing a number on me. Can I climb this? I can. Music is so good. Oh, is that it? Where do I go now? This way? Yeah, okay. Uh, when this uh, exclamation mark comes up. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's like a, a little transmission. So if I press select, I can talk to Aaliyah. Okay. Whoops. Oh, I died. I just straight up died on those spikes. <laughs> Ready? This music. Oh, every time that little flute sample happens, I'm, uh, I'm, in, I'm in bliss. Whoops. Oh, okay. You strapped die with all of the spikes. I think my collected men are still with me. Oof. That was very close. Oh, yikes. Real tough. Okay. Oh, you get a nice little um, boost jump if you uh, jump out of, a, uh, out of a slide, out of a dash. I wish I could aim up. Let me kill you. Bro, that's so annoying. <laughs> These enemies are very annoying. Basically every hit 
like stun locks you into a into being hit again from, from almost every enemy that I've encountered. That feels really nice. I really like that um, that dash jump. There's like nowhere I can go on this platform except where the move is happening. Oh god. That's it's really hard to just even like navigate around. I might have I might have like done the levels in a wrong order, because that's the thing about about the Mega Man games. I might there might be like a a traversal tool that I I don't have access to yet, but assuming not, this is um, really hard to get a handle of uh, just moving forward. Okay. But I'm going to forgive you Mega Man X6 because the song brings the heat. What's up, Brady? As Kill Fontaine. Good to see you. people either love or hate this game. I'm, I'm kind of in between. I guess I'm the exception that proves the rule. Can I move the camera down to see what's coming up? No, I can't. I have to just, I have to just put up with that camera angle there. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe starting with six is not not a good thing for me to have done because I'm guessing it's it's sort of assuming you've played the other ones before. After a couple of hours, you'll be strongly hated or strongly like it. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to get a couple of hours because we're only playing 30 minutes of every game on the list. I'm not loving getting stun locked into every situation that I find myself in with no help of no help of getting out of it. But and you you really can't move the camera? Wait, what's that? What did I just do? to hope okay I was I was lucky I guess I suppose I could have slid down the side of the, the wall there These uh, attacks are really, uh, are really hard to deal with too. I love the um, the the robot the way they stand there when they're wanting to be helped. It looks like they're about to belt out a tune. Dash jump is very nice feeling. Oh. And the environment art is spectacular. Six months in development. That's um that's almost impossible to believe. Okay, let's move on. 
guessing this is the boss. A strong data signal. It should be from an investigator. The investigator here is Commander Yanmark. To be on the safe side, be sure to set up the weapon. Alright, I'll do it. Set up what weapon? Do I have a Giga attack? Hurts enemies on the same screen. Oh. Okay. I guess I don't have a weapon yet. I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? I was just pressing buttons. Can I do it again? I guess... I guess I can. Alright, I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna do a save state, because I want to see if I can beat this boss. I don't want to have to run back to it a hundred times. Awesome. So sick. Yeah, the vibes here are excellent. You're the Nightmare Investigator. Commander Yamak? Yes, I'm in charge of the Amazon area. Tell me, what is Zero up to? You must know something. Zero has nothing to do this. Stop accusing him. I won't trust both the Maverick Hunter and Reploid Researcher. I don't know what you're thinking. I won't end up being betrayed and deleted. I will delete you first. Okay. I can dash through that. I keep pressing the wrong button to dash. I keep pressing the Hollow Knight dash button. Whoa. Ah, tough. Okay, you don't have to run back all, all the way to the boss. Okay, I think I should be able to get that. X5 is supposed to be the last. The, the sale no sales numbers were so crap. Capcom was like, make one more game, recycle the sprites, we don't care. Yeah, shit, I'm, I, uh, the, X, the X series is not, not one that I'm familiar with. Didn't even realize there were this many, so. And there's even more than this, right? Like, they did end up going on to make, like, Seven and eight, I feel, at least. Okay, I think I should actually just avoid her entirely on that. It's really hard to jump and shoot simultaneously. I think I got this though. Gotcha! That's easy mode for you. Mega Man was a poor selling franchise, numbers don't lie. Capcom need to thank Inafune for making that god awful Mighty Number no. 9, which basically regrouped people's interest in Mega Man. Absolutely, Mighty Number no. 9, the only game worse than the Mega Man series to me. I don't like Mega Man. Um, I said it before at the, at the start of the game. I, 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 I do not like the way it feels in your hands. Okay, Hunter Rank C, not bad. I found a mysterious item. Let's call it the Nightmare Soul. <laughs> We're collecting souls, okay? Collect the souls to increase ranking as your hunter rank here increases. You'll be able to equip parts. Okay. Great. We're getting parts. You got the Yamar option. Dragonflies help you on offense and defense. Oh, it was the dragonflies that were circling around her. Cool. Okay. I'm getting a bunch of collectibles, it seems. He was a replicate. He had like sexy lady eyes. Mega Man 9 and 10 were really good. I actually haven't played them, so I, I, I will take your word for it. Those were the, the return to the original sprite based 2D ones, right? Okay. 
what will you do? Okay to save. Let's save. Okay to overwrite. The WiiWare games. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Shit, I forgot those were WiiWare. Oh, hey, timing. That's the 30 minutes up. Okay. Well, let, let me just... I mean, there's no point in, in really watching this. We're done. We're done with, with, with Mega Man X6. We're going to leave this music playing, however. While I uh, pull up my spreadsheet. Yeah, man, I think, like... That's a really good point, Radiaz. That's that's kind of how I like to talk about games for the most part. Like, unless it's an indie developer who is like a one person or small team, games are not uh, you know the expressions of individuals. Sometimes they they may have like or, or touristic elements to them. The Itafune games, I'm sure, have some or touristic elements where his vision was leading the way the game was being you know actualized but no it, it takes more than one person to to do anything let alone make a big old video game okay that was fun i had a i had a great time with that i was i was surprised at how um quickly i took to it i i didn't love um all of it i didn't love getting trapped in those attacks i maybe picked the wrong first level to start with for for from that perspective, but I, I had no way of knowing any better. Um, I wish that I could have played an earlier title in the in the series, but that's not the way that the wheel spun for me. Um, that was definitely better than Chaos Break as well, I think. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it. It was not as good a time as Medieval. I'm gonna pop it right below Medieval. We're gonna put it. Hold on, there we go. Mega Man. X6 on the 29th of December. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a Y here. I'm not necessarily gonna play any more of X6, but I might check out a little bit more of the series just to get a better handle on what it's doing and what it's saying. Uh, and uh, with that, today's episode is done. I got a couple more things I want to do before I uh, before I leave you though. So stick around. Yeah, yeah. Disney Sarsam was cool. Yeah, in fact, let me just repost the uh, the link to that spreadsheet. So you can see the games that I played previously as part of this project. I'll update the links uh, for the VODs there because I've started uploading them to YouTube, which is a little bit more of a reliable, permanent link for them. But for now, all of those links should still work if you wanted to see uh, me playing through any of those games. Again, for, for half an hour each except for Metal Gear Solid which I extended out to, to one hour. Um, speaking of which, let's roll up a few random games on the wheel and see what's going to be coming up in a future episode. So currently I've got episode... this was episode 5, I've got episode 6 and 7 filled uh, and then Episode 8, oh, yeah, episode 8 just got filled up by two um, viewer choices. So we're, gonna, we're rolling for episode 9 now. Let's roll up three games for episode 9. How about that? Okay. First game is... Oh, Area 51, I've actually... <laughs> I have rolled this already. I don't think I can play this because it's a light gun game and I don't think those are particularly easy to emulate. So I'm actually... I'm going to skip that one. I looked into it. It was actually supposed to be one from Episode 4, but I couldn't get it working. Gradius Deluxe Pack. I'd love to see that. Gradius Deluxe Pack. Next... Pac-Man World. Okay, got a little bit of a theme going on here. With, um, adaptations of arcade classics. 
What's dead? Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to know. And then Army Men Team Assault. Very cool. The Army Men games are really weird. <laughs> Let's take a look at that, actually. Army Men Team Assault. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. This looks very bad. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Crazy to think it's been more than 20 years since I, at least since I played this game. Truly time flies. You're not wrong, Nagushi. Yeah, this looks perfect. Oh yeah. Uh, Gradius Deluxe Pack. Let's have a look at this. For PSX, this is a long play. It's a 20 minute long game. We might even be able to beat it in that time. Okay, let's see what some of these cutscenes. Actually, maybe I should leave. Let's leave the cutscenes for next week. It is tr it is just a Gradius, uh, just a Gradius re-release. But I, I think it counts. It's on the wheel, so it's real.